all, everybody in Boxing Game knows you. I was surprised to see you in Vegas, so how will you uh, come out here? Oh, uh, Badu Jack, he brought me out here. I used to work with him in Florida. Okay. And, um, you know, he lost his fight, last fight, so, you know, I, I emphasize on it. Basics and good defense. So, yeah. my dude needs to go back to his, you know, strong basics and good defense. Yeah, people don't know you got a long history in boxing, fought some great fighters. The first guy to knock down Roy Jones Jr. Uh, well, what your fight with Roy? What do you remember about that? Oh, I remember it was trying to uh, fight a fly. <laughs> He yeah. was that fast, you know, trying to catch a fly. That was a Roy in his prime, dude. The guys did, people didn't realize this guy was special, huh? Fast hands. Yeah. Amazing hands. Got you. What about your history in boxing? Where were you from, first off? Well, I'm from Long Island City, Queens. Okay. Queens Bridge Projects. But I really say I'm from the Bronx because that's where my career started. Okay, got you. What was life like out there? I love it. I brought my fighters out here from New York. Golden Gloves champ. Yeah. Uh, Jalil and my other fighter, Joel, got a lot of potential, so I brought him out here to see what it is to be in the Mayweather camp. What is your best memories from your boxing career? Uh, winning the world title. Yeah. No, that was the best, winning the Golden Gloves. The Golden United. Gloves. That's made me know that I was a real fighter. Got you. And is there anything you look back on your career that you regret or think wish yeah. things could play different? I regret a lot of things. Yeah. I regret, um, you know, not being more serious, you know. Yeah. I should have been a little more serious and I should I should, I should have got out of the business part of it. Yeah. Once I got into the business part of it, my game faded. Oh, really? You got the money kind of came into play, huh? Yeah. Do you, does that happen a lot with athletes? The money comes and the passion goes, huh? Passion goes. Damn. You worry about your money, then you got to worry about fighting. So oh. did it hit you in a fight where you knew like you weren't in shape and you're like, damn it, like I should have trained? It happened a lot of times. Really? Yeah, okay. Especially I had manager problems and promoters, you know? Yeah. And that, that had a lot to contribute with. They, they say in boxing, it's kind of like one of those sports like in Scarface, like they try to get out, but they keep bragging you in. Like you're always going to be in boxing though, right? Always. Why, why though? Why boxing? Because, first of all, I love it. Second of all, I'm good at it. I'm a better trainer than fighter. Okay, what makes you a good trainer? Uh, I could teach from scratch. Yeah. My sister, I made a two-time Golden Gloves champ, national. Four-time world champ, signed with Don King, to fight Christy Martin. Yeah. My brother, two-time Golden Gloves champ. My brother, Richie Golden Gloves champ. I taught them all from scratch. Yeah. My man, Jalil, from scratch. I'm a teacher. That's what I do. Gotcha. What do you think of being here in Vegas? What about the atmosphere, Floyd's camp? I love it. I mean, it's, it's great. What I like about it mostly is that I'm the average person. Yeah, you just kind of blend in here, huh? Because it's a lot of champs. Yeah. And we still got the best champion here. You got you. So Wait. nobody called us. What do you think about the Madonna rematch? It's gonna be tough. I, I still think it's gonna be tough. Gotcha. You. You've been in the ring with a prime Roy. Where does he rank amongst all time greats if you had to place him, gauge him? Roy? We Roy Jones. Greatest. One of the greatest. You know, there's certain fighters that I see for the amateurs and I say, wow, this guy's gonna be a champ. And very rarely that I see that. And I see that with Roy Jones, I see that with Mayweather, I see that with Bernal Whitaker, I see that with Holyfield. You just see that guy, you say, oh, that guy is gonna go all the way. What does boxing need to survive moving forward? Boxing needs, uh, needs a lot, need a lot of good move, a lot of good fights. You know, match up. Everybody's hot dogging each other. Nobody's yeah. fighting each other like they used to. Do you feel that when you were fighting, or even now, that there's a lot of people trying to take money from fighters and kind of you know break into boxing? Does that hurt the sport? Oh yes. The managers killed the sport of promoters. I mean, I always tell everybody, I love boxing, but I hate the people in it. Good stuff, man. It's the worst. Hey, thanks for your honesty, bro.